to me it always made sense for large companies to have some kind of incubator or accelerator model because one of the reasons i think we are seeing in this bear cycle sort of like when the wave sort of you know falls down you see who's naked scenario um i think any company who's which survives multi decades has to have multiple large businesses mm-hmm. and i think in a lot of ways i mean looking back a lot of companies didn't uh, look for long term opportunities as much as they should like we can talk about like uh, amazon you know putting billion dollars into their phone but i would argue the potential on the upside of success was so high they should have put in you know one more billion and tried the next version mm-hmm. uh mm-hmm. and i would like argue the same with facebook in a sense like now they are doing this metaverse thing um and sort of again retreating that back now but i feel like even facebook with all its cash flow uh didn't really think um because they always self constrained themselves to be a social company mm-hmm. um like i think that's sort of like a self imposed mental model on themselves mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. Uh, i would not impose themselves like a social company yeah you mm-hmm. were good at facebook and whatsapp but i mean look at how many great technologies that came out from facebook open source community and like putting that social as a blanket on your company i think sort of set a backstage for all these technologies which could be you know productionized and you know capitalized mm-hmm. right uh, that's i feel like a lot of companies especially the large companies with very good cash flow sort of missed out on business opportunities because of that reason that's my personal view on like a lot of companies could have it if it is well run mm-hmm. um and should have it because of this reason right it's sort mm-hmm. of like you are the innovation dilemma that you will encounter at some point as a large company and you have to have a sort of a backup backstopping mechanism to that innovation dilemma which every company will eventually face mm-hmm. um so i feel like the innovation uh, accelerator or incubator which sort of act as that uh, you know that part of small investment it's sort of like an insurance to the uh, to innovation dilemma that you would yeah. eventually encounter anyways uh, if you're yeah. a large company um Yeah, no, I think you're right. There's a, there's an inherent problem there too though, is that um uh innovation is inherently a yo- low yield activity. Um yeah. and so within and it's my kind of rule of thumb that within 2 or 3 years of any program like ours existence, um finance is going to come and say, "Where's the revenue? Where's the ROI?" And if you don't have a data driven way of showing your your anticipated revenue your anticipated ROI on the basis of your activities then uh it's entirely legitimate that you get cut there's a there's a there's data driven ways of showing that the whole venture ecosystem depends on the fact that you're able to show future revenue on the basis of what you're doing now uh that's how you raise funds right um and so every uh innovation program inside an enterprise has to have that same data driven hygiene 